So this is the Atlan workspace. We make every one of your data assets searchable. Um, so anything from a specific search around a table related to snacks, uh, to columns, to queries, to dashboards. Uh, we also brought in some automation, like if you hit Command K as an example, it'll bring up that same universal search. Uh, let's jump into this table asset as an example. Uh, so we believe that each one of your data assets should be searchable, uh, whether that's a table, a dashboard, a column, a query. They should each be shareable, uh, so you can copy the link and share it directly to a colleague or push to Slack. Um, alternatively, if you wanted to give a little bit more context to a colleague, we have contextual chat uh, on each individual asset. So uh, I could chat, I could tag my colleague. Uh, I could say, hey, Mathura, this column is what you're looking for. If I hit hash, uh, I can actually tag the individual column uh, and then push this directly to Slack as well. Um, so we've taken a lot of inspiration from GitHub here. Uh, when you start as a new engineer, get access to your code, revision history, repo, what it mean for a data asset to have its own GitHub-like profile? Uh, so that's a preview of the data, a readme. You could tag owners and experts uh, and a data dictionary. Uh, but we take it a step further to enable you to actually query the data itself. So uh, let's jump to a query on the most popular snacks. Uh, and so what this will do is actually it'll pull up a save query that we had. Um, it'll generate the results here. You can either write SQL directly uh, or you could build a query yourself uh, and then keep you in flow. Open it directly in, in Tableau. Uh, to take it a step further, Atlan also identifies all the, the relationships with everything in your ecosystem. Uh, so we'll actually parse all your SQL query history uh, and can construct lineage from the source table uh, all the way to uh, a downstream dashboard. Uh, so in this example that you'll see here, uh, it's actually a Looker dashboard. Uh, so why don't we drill into that example and give you a little context on what a dashboard asset looks like. Uh, and so you can see you'll, we can look at the lineage for the dashboards so you can understand if, if a metric doesn't look right where, where the data came from. Uh, or just like on the, the table overview, you get a preview. You could tag owners and experts. Uh, and you can also tag glossary terms. So uh, you'll see these glossary terms throughout every asset. So let's drill in. Uh, so there are a few different use cases for glossary, whether it's a metric store, uh, a business taxonomy, or you know cataloging projects. But uh, you can give a readme to each individual glossary term, as well as linked assets here. Um, this is where a bot ecosystem starts to come into play. So it'll start to recommend the, the linking of, of glossary terms. So there's a lot of automation uh, for some otherwise repetitive tasks throughout the platform. Uh, and then just to take it a step further, if there's something in the platform that you want to bring in, um, you, you, but we don't have access to it, uh, or we don't have a, a feature for it, you can actually use this business metadata section to customize the platform uh, and even bring in uh, data from an external system via API into the platform. So open, extensible, automation, uh, a modern data workspace for data teams.